I'd like to begin my comments tonight by reading a quote, which in essence is the genesis of all of this Black Lives Matter, social justice, CRT conversations we're having in our country today. Quote, I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color, close quote. Colin Kaepernick, August 2016. I am the direct descendant of the North American slave trade. Both my parents are black, all four of my grandparents are black, all eight of my great-grandparents, all 16 of my great-greats. On my mother's side, my ancestors were enslaved in Alabama. On my father's side, we were enslaved in Texas. I am not oppressed. I'm not oppressed and I'm not a victim. I'm neither oppressed nor a victim. I travel all across this country of ours and I check into hotels and I fly commercially and I walk into retail establishments and I order food in restaurants. I go wherever I want, whenever I want. I am treated with kindness, dignity and respect literally from coast to coast. I have three children. They are not oppressed either, although they are victims. I've taught my children they are victims of three things, their own ignorance, their own laziness, and their own poor decision making. That is all. My children, we are not victims of America. We are not victims of some unseen 190-year-old force that kind of floats around in the ether. Putting critical race theory into our classrooms is taking our nation in the wrong direction. Racism in America would by and large be dead today if it were not for certain people and institutions keeping it on life support. And sadly, sadly, very sadly, one of those institutions is the American education system. I can think of nothing more damaging to a society than to tell a baby born today that she has grievances against another baby born today simply because of what their ancestors may have done two centuries ago. There is simply no point in doing that to our children and putting critical race theory into our classrooms in part does that. Putting critical race theory into our classrooms is not combating racism, it's fanning the flames of what little embers are left. I encourage you to support this resolution. Let racism die the death it deserves, and let's keep living the life of the country that we are. Thank you. It's just great to see a, a parent, specifically one that qualifies as a foundational black American here in America, uh, say exactly this. And it's something that needs to be said and it needs to be heard. And although we echo it so often on this program, I feel like each time is never enough. And if, if, if every time this is said, somebody is hearing this message that, that didn't understand it before, who had never heard it before, it is, it is worth being espoused over and over and over. Yeah, if you don't publicize it, then... How is anyone going to know that it happened? How are people going to know that this is something that you can actually do in your community or your school? So every person who watches a show or watches anything that we put out and this is in it, it's like they get to watch it and be inspired and know that, okay, people are doing this and people are making change because now this Colorado town bans CRT. I don't know what town in Colorado it is. I'm from Colorado. I'd be interested to know which town it is. Um, but yeah, everyone has to see these types of things potentially over and over again so that they finally get it through their heads that you can do something. It is up to you. Right. And, and I love that he says the the different things that he teaches his kids of just like what happens in the world is based on your own choices, your own ignorance and your own responsibility and what in what you choose to do. And that is simply the case for most people. Now, does racism in, in America exist? Absolutely. But as he says, if we weren't uh, upholding it through all of our different institutions with these lies and critical race theory and just this lie of victimhood and oppression that we sell to people, it would be far less of a problem than it's been made out to be. Yeah, and I liked how he said, like, I'm not I'm not being actively oppressed right now by the some invisible ghost of something that ended like two hundred years ago. You know? And I think him saying what we all obviously know is like, hey, I am not oppressed like in America as a black man. Um it it underscores the fact that we're not the crazy ones. The people mm -hmm. who are pushing this ideology are the crazy ones. You have to be taught and indoctrinated with these ideas to believe that stuff. I think it's important to note that this guy has said things that, like Taylor just said, 
all of us know, mm -hmm. all of us have heard before. But when you go and do this in front of your school board or whatever, you don't have to be some nuanced professional yeah. giving like the latest take about mm -hmm. here's the facts on something. It's like, say what you believe, say what you know and what the truth is. And it doesn't have to be some crazy, you know, all, all thought out thing. You guys get what I mean. You know what I mean? It's like you can yeah. be someone who's just saying what the facts are, things that other people have said, and just getting that same message out there because that's why we play it on here, so that people understand that you can just get this message out there and make changes. And think about it this way. This guy's going to get a lot of backlash for saying what he just said, for, for getting up, standing up, saying, no, I'm the only person I'm a victim to is myself, and I'm a victim of my own choices. And he's going to get hate for that. And he's going to get it specifically from the black community. It's something that I've experienced. It's something that Will and Taylor both experience. And you have to think about what is the side that is trying to convince you that you're going to be unsuccessful, that there are barriers set in place for you and that you are a, a victim just by virtue of being born the way you are. It's not our side. It's not what we're what we're trying to sell you on. We're trying to sell you on uh, making success and, and being a great person and being a great citizen and knowing that your choices dictate where you land in life. Uh, and, and the side that's going to try to convince you of the opposite and convince you that you're a victim is the one that's truly trying to do you harm.